Hi everybody, my name is David Nesbitt. I'm a PGA certified teaching professional in San Jose, California. And today I'm going to teach you how to use a water bottle to help you improve your swing and also hit the ball more solidly. I got three tips on how we're going to use this guy and hopefully you'll start uh, playing some better golf and having more fun. Let's begin. So in order to strike the ball well, one of the things that we have to do is we have to shift our weight back on the backswing forward on the forward swing. One of the biggest flaws that I see uh, where people struggle with striking the ball well is they end up doing the exact opposite which is having their weight go forward on the forward swing. So here's a good drill with the use of this water bottle to help you get the feeling of rolling your front foot back. Okay, So all you do is you put the uh, water bottle right up against your ankle bone. Okay, You take your normal stance and go ahead and take a practice swing. If your weight goes forward, the water bottle stays upright. What we want to try to do is knock that water bottle over every time. So it looks something like this. Okay, If you do that a few times, get a feeling, or, and you can actually feel the water bottle fall, then you're on your way to improving the correct weight shift in a golf swing. So try that tip first. Okay, so the next drill I'm going to show you actually involves two water bottles. And the reason for this drill is to get you to develop a better feel of that club traveling more down the target line. So if you struggle with a lot of uh, pushes to the right, or maybe a big high slice that starts off left and slices, uh, there's a good chance that uh, your club path is either coming too far outside to in for the big slice, or if it's too inside to out, it's usually a big... Uh, snap hook. So let's get you to develop a better feel for this club path traveling down this, uh, this pathway. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I set up this drill to help you improve your club path. Getting that path to be more down the line rather than outside to in. So it's pretty easy to set up. I have a T in the middle of these two sticks. These two alignment rods are one grip width apart. So depending on how bad your outside to in move is, you may need to adjust that, but let's start with this. I put one bottle on the outside of the stick, about a grip width uh, length back, and I do the same thing with this bottle that's on the inside stick. And all I'm gonna try to do is swing down this, these orange sticks and not strike the water bottle. Okay, so let's try it out. We'll try it from a different angle so you can see that it actually works. As you get better, you move the sticks and the water bottles closer, and that'll start to straighten out your path. Hopefully, you'll start hitting straighter balls, more consistent, predictable shots. So take a couple practice swings first without a ball. Try to get a feel for that. A couple little swings, right? Nothing big. Then go ahead and try the same thing with a ball. If you come outside to in, you're going to hit the, the, the first bottle, maybe the second one. Uh, we're going to try to get this feeling right here. Little swing. If you do that, you'll start hitting straighter shots. Okay, so this next drill is going to involve an empty water bottle. And this drill is designed to help you feel that right elbow drop down almost into your pocket to get better ball strikes. Also create a more powerful position at impact. So if you're the type of golfer that has a outside to in swing again where your elbow gets too far from your body or your hands get way out in front of you, this is a great tip for you. I learned this tip from Zach Allen who's an excellent teacher in Southern California. And all you do is you grab an empty water bottle, you put it in your right pocket, if you're a right-handed golfer, right? Okay. And if you do this drill correctly, your forearm should strike that water bottle. The inside of your forearm right here should actually make this sound when you strike the bottle. So from this angle, you'll see how my right elbow stays right down inside, and you hear that little crinkling of the water bottle. So try that a few times, get that feeling, okay? If you don't hear it, you didn't do it correctly, 
and go ahead and take the water bottle out and try to recreate that same feeling. Try to develop that feel of the, of the elbow dropping and that right forearm staying closer to your right thigh or your right hip. And again, if you do it correctly, it'll look something like this. Once again, my name is David Nesbitt. I'm a PGA teaching professional in San Jose, California. I hope these three tips can help you with your swing, and hopefully you'll start striking the ball straighter and more solidly. Thanks for watching. For additional information, check out some of my other videos on YouTube. Good luck.